This is a grade 7 math practice test for TN Ready. This is question on this version number 27. So for this question, there are a couple ways that you can do it. I'll show you one, and I'm going to bring in a special guest, and he's going to talk about how he did it. And he's actually a 7th grader at the time he's recording this. So uh, the question says, The program director at the Botanical Garden surveyed 75 of their annual members about the number of times they visit the gardens every month. This table shows the results of the survey. So you have the number of times they come per month. You have a couple annual members that basically never show up but still pay. That does happen. And then you have people who come six or more times. I will guarantee you that those three people, they're either really liked by the staff or not liked at all by the staff, and it just sort of depends. It's probably a mix. There are a total of 516 annual members. What's the best estimate for the number of annual members that will visit the Botanical Gardens, uh, Garden for more than three times in the next month? Now, they used a sampling process where they picked 75 annual members. Based on that, we can sort of, it's called extrapolate. Basically, we take that information and apply it to the 516. But that means we have three pieces of information, the number of people, the number that would fall into our group of more than three times, and the number of total. And we have two concepts, the sample group versus the larger population group. So that seems like we can do a proportion, right? And that's what we'll end up doing. But before we even get to that, we need to figure out how many in the sample group went more than three times. So I just have to find numbers that are more than three. Even I can do that. 9, 12, and 13, or 3. So 12 and 3 would be 15, plus 9 would give you 24. So my ratio for the people who are go more than 3 times in the sample group, 24 over 75. Now, to convert this into a number that we can use to evaluate the total population, we want to do the 516 annual members. So that's total. I may make a note to myself down here, this is total. And then maybe three or more up here or something. Just so I have the corresponding values in the right spot. So 516 will go here. And then I have my x value there. So I just need to cross multiply. 75 times x is, of course, 75. And now I'm ready to get out the oldest calculator on the internet, or one of. Five sixteen times twenty four. That gives me a giant number of one or twelve thousand three hundred and eighty four. Then I just need to divide. And that gives me a hundred and sixty five point one two, and since we're just doing an estimate. And I don't know what a twelfth of a person even is. Our answer for this one is R. Now, that's how I did it. My special guest, who happens to be in seventh grade, did it a different way. So I'm going to let him talk to you about what he did. So the way I did it is I added... So you're supposed to get all of the visitors that went more than three times in a month in the next month and so I added the 9, the 5, and the 4 because all of those are more than this 3 and that gets you um, and that gets you 24 so then now you're trying to find out what 24 so this is 24 out of the 75 you're trying to find out what that is out of 516. So, I went and I did 516 divided by 75 and got 6.8. So then, I did... 6.88 no 6.88 times 24 and got 
165, which if you round to the closest one, one you get 165.